Hello, hello, hello! Do we have any new friends? Oh, remember to subscribe! I am so excited about MKids! Are you? Yeah, let's begin! Imagine the following. Your friend comes to you and she's very upset and crying. She says she forgot to do her homework and she doesn't even know where to start or what to do. Now teacher is going to be so angry and she's going to get in trouble. You then decide that you will help her. There's enough time before the bell rings to get the homework done quickly. You show her what to do, how to do it, give her a piece of paper to work on and, and let her even use your stationery. She just has to do the work. What do you think she did? Scenario one. She smiles and sighs with, re with relief and starts working hard so that she can do, get everything done and not get in trouble. Scenario two. She sighs, drops her shoulders and mumbles, eh, it's too hard, I can't. Can you imagine just what a big difference it can make what she chooses? She can choose to do what she has to do or, and fulfill her responsibility or choose to do nothing and, and give up. Today, we're going to talk about how we can also feel better when we get up and do something with Jesus. Jesus invites us to do something about how we feel or about the situation we are in with Him. Take His hand, stand up and tackle life. The difficult things and the nice things, the, the big things and the everyday things. We can do something. And Jesus knows we can. We can believe it too. Let's read about a man who also was invited to take on life with Jesus. Let's read together. John 5 verse 1 to 9. Later, Jesus went to Jerusalem for another Jewish festival. In the city near the Sheep Gate was a pool with five porches, and its name in Hebrew was Bethesda. Many sick, blind and lame and paralyzed people were lying close to the pool. Beside the pool was a man who had been sick for 38 years. When Jesus saw the man and realized that he had been sick for a long time, he asked him, Do you want to be healed? The man answered, Sir, I don't have anyone to put me in the pool when the water is stirred up. I try to get in, but someone else gets there first. Jesus told him, Pick up your mat and walk. Right then, the man was healed. He picked up his mat and started walking around. The day in which this happened was the Sabbath. Guys, I really like this story. Jesus helps a very sick man. That's amazing. Now, sometimes difficult things happen to us as well, right? We can't always choose what happens to us, almost like in this man's life. He couldn't do anything about the fact that he was sick. It was not his fault and he couldn't change it. He couldn't even get to the pool on time where people were healed. It must have been very difficult. Sometimes, Things also happen to us that we have no control over and that we cannot choose. We can't decide whether this will happen or not. We can't make it go away. For example, you have no control over what your friends decide or what's happening at your parents' job. You have no control over whether your sport is cancelled again or over your holiday plans being cancelled or changed again. It can be so difficult. But you know what? Jesus understands how you feel he also understood how this man felt that we read about in the Bible, and he helped him. Jesus will also help you even if it takes time for things to get better, and even if it doesn't happen right away. 
He will help you even though things may still be difficult and confusing at this point. But look at how Jesus works. He asks the man a question and then he tells the man to get up and the man does. Just like this man, you can do something too. You can make the most of a difficult situation. You can get help, you can get help and you can give help. You can try again. You can be on the lookout for what you can say thank you for even when the other things in your life are difficult. Jesus works with you in your life. You also have a responsibility. So, take Jesus' hand, get up and let Him help you. Do things with Jesus, work with Him. Sit with Him and ask, Jesus, what's the plan? I'm ready to tackle it with you. Now, let's draw a special kind of plan. The first thing that you can draw is a mountain. What is the mountain in your life right now? By that I mean what is difficult in your life right now? Is it maybe maths or Afrikaans? Or is there something difficult in your friendships at the moment? Now, draw three flags on the mountain. These are three things you can do to start climbing this mountain with Jesus. Maybe it's to talk to someone or to do extra exercises. Maybe it's to learn harder. Maybe it's to say sorry. Perhaps it's to get up earlier to read some extra books. Or maybe you need to sleep a little more so that you have more energy. You can think of any three things that will help you to tackle this difficult thing in your life with Jesus. Now, draw two rows of footprints all the way up the mountain. This can help you to remember that Jesus climbs this mountain with you. He helps you with a difficult thing in your life. Now, draw yourself on top of the mountain with a big smile. Draw Jesus next to you. Let this help you remember that Jesus helps you to deal with the difficult things in your life. I've got joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. Joy, joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. pray together. Lord Jesus, thank you so much that you can do anything, that you can do miracles, that you are almighty. Thank you that you walk with us each day and that you can help us with everything that we ask you to help us with. Lord, help us to take your hand, to stand up and to do things with you. Help us to try again and to make plans with you. Thank you that you love us and thank you that you are our friend. Amen. Bye guys! <laughs>